So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now there are two ways to get into this screen. So for the first method to get into that screen, this is if you can sign into Windows. So if you can sign into Windows like me, I'm on Windows right now, you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And now under advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now. And now it's gonna be taking you into that screen. Now, if you cannot sign into Windows for the second way, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then you wanna turn it on again. When your computer turns on again and you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn off your computer and then turn it on again. You wanna repeat this three times. So turn off your computer and then turn it on again. When you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it on again. Repeat this three times and it will take you into this screen. And now you're gonna be on this screen. You wanna click on see advanced repair options. Now it's gonna take you to here. You wanna click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. And now for the first method, you wanna click on system restore. Type in your password and then click on your username. And now once you're on this, if you have a restore point, then you wanna click on next and you wanna go back to your restore point. See if that works for you. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. And now for the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's gonna diagnose your PC. See if this fixes your problem. If that didn't work, you wanna click on advanced options. If the problem is still not fixed, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash r, click on enter. And then you wanna type in sfc space full slash scan, now click on enter again. And then you want to run this scan. And now once that's been done, you wanna close out of this. And now you can just continue on to Windows 10 and the problem should be fixed.